All right, Cammy boy, I will go and talk to you now. Put it off long enough. Sup, Cam? Hey. You know, I like how you say "baya," which no one else says, and yet you never say "heya" or "haya," which is pretty normal to say. What? Oh yeah, I don't say those. I noticed. Yeah, I don't really think about that. And most things. Hmm. Yeah, I can't think much right now. Just right now? Yeah, I'm sad. Oh no. What's wrong? You know. No, I don't know. That's why I asked you to tell me. Hmm. Me and my parents were gonna go out tonight, but they can't anymore. Ah, that's too bad. Yeah, it's been like a week. Since you've seen them? No, since we've gone out. I see them every day. We're in the same house. You go out together more than once a week? Yeah, like two or three times. Okay, you're just being a baby. But that's like my least favorite thing. What is? Not being spoiled? No, someone telling me they're gonna do something and taking it back. That is annoying, but life happens. Mmm. <laughs> you're funny when you're grumpy. For future reference, what else gets you all suck sulky? Sucky? What? Sad. What makes you sad? I don't know. Things. What kind of things? Things. <laughs> Alright. What can I do to cheer you up? How about I give you a hug? Okay. Seriously? That was a joke. What? Nothing, just me shooting my own foot. <laughs> Give Cam hugs. Give him all the hugs, he's sad. What? I'm gonna hug you. Cool. How long did we hug him for? We faded to black. Hmm. Did that really make you feel better? Oh! Our first Cam blush. Wow, I was not expecting that. Yeah, your hair smells good, you know. Yes, it does. Thank you for noticing. Yours does too, but not as good as mine. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're so easy to please. That's convenient. Also, I'm glad you're not sad anymore. Yeah. All right, anyways, what were you gonna do with your mom and dad? Unless talking about that is gonna make you all upset again. No, we were gonna see a movie or something, you know? You're not even sure what you were gonna do? No. So you just wanted to hang out with your parents in general? Yeah, they're cool. Huh. I thought guys like you were embarrassed to be seen with their parents. Not me. Yeah, I don't know why I was surprised. I doubt anything embarrasses you. Probably... Mm, I gotta work now. Fine. Bye, Cam. Bye ya. <laughs> Almost found out what embarrasses him. That was so sweet. Yeah, I'd like a hug, actually. That would be just grand. Thank you. Uh, I figured you'd want to talk, Adrian. That's why I visited Cam first this time. Are we doing the game? Maybe not yet. It's Pran's birthday. I really thought the type game was earlier for some reason. I guess I just misremembered. Uh, no matter. How are, oops, that's not actually what I wanted to do. How are we doing on the Swifty Taps? Okay. Oops, that's also not what I wanted to do. Uh, ba -da -ba -dee -boop. Uh, da -da -da -da. We should be finding out from Cam what he expects from us fairly soon. I'd imagine. Uh, but it do 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 boop. Oops. All right. Also, apologies if I sound kind of sniffly. I've kind of.
kind of felt like a bit of a head cold today or allergies or something. Something's going on with me. I don't know what. Hey, you're so chatty. Hey, Jerkit. Hello to you too, Cam. How's Missy doing? What? What? You're asking me about Missy? Yeah. She hasn't come by for a while. You know her. I can't believe you're asking me about another girl. What? I'm the only girl your limited brain needs to be thinking about, at least while I've gone to the trouble of coming to talk to you. Wow, Jerkette, that was so... so rude. Oi! That, that pains me. Jerkette, no. Thank you, Cam, for gracefully just moving on. Uh, so... is she cool, or...? She's fine. Cool. Uh-huh. Just to be sure, you like me more than Missy, right? And you'd be crazy to say yes. Mmm, yeah. That's what I like to hear. I'm your favorite person, aren't I? No, that's my mom and dad. Okay, besides your parents or siblings. I don't have a brother or sister. Huh, I probably should have asked about that at some point. Whatever, then just besides your parents, am I your favorite person? No. What? Who's the other person? My kitty. I love her. Aww, Cam's got a kitty. A cat is not a person, though that kind of makes it more insulting that you prefer her over me. I'm proud of you, Cam. But is that it? I'm your favorite after your parents and cat? Yeah, I can't think of anyone else. Could you not put it like that? You can't think of many things, period. Uh, what should I say? Just agree that I'm basically your favorite person. Okay, you're my favorite girl. I'll take it. Like I really have to worry about a cat. What? Nothing. Why don't you tell me about her? Her who? Your cat. Oh, yeah, her name is Stripes. She's pretty. Please tell me she actually has Stripes. Yeah, she's got stripes and stuff. Phew. So, how long have you had her? For, like, 12 years. I found her in a bush when she was tiny, you know. She's fat now. In a bush? Yeah, it was like nighttime, and I was out near this building, and I heard her cat noises, and she was just there in a bush by the sidewalk. There was no mama around or any other babies. Aw, sad. I wonder if she was the runt of the litter. What? Don't worry about it. And either way, she found a good home, and that's what counts. Yeah, it's better than a bush. That it is, Cam. Yeah. Mmm, I gotta go now. Too bad. See you later. Bye ya. Whew, okay. Well, we extricated ourselves from that one. That was... Yike! <laughs> that was a yikes for me. The beginning of that. Ooh-wee. Hi, Adrian. You're a good good guy, Adrian. <laughs> um Yes. We're still going to go visit. We can still do that. Alright. Still haven't gotten Adrian and Cam to meet yet. That makes me sad. Well, hopefully that'll show up at some point. And if not, I did try my darndest to make it happen. Well, hello, Cam. Hi, Cam. Hey! How are you? Cool. Groovy. I sure do enjoy these conversations we have. Yeah, but I'm working now. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so do you want to trade some tickets for a prize? I don't know, Cam. Can I trade tickets for you? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> on, on the ticket scale, how much do you value yourself? How many tickets would I have to win to get a date with you? Yeah. 
What? Yeah, you can. Seriously? I was joking. But that's a thing. What? Why is that a thing? You know, I would eat the taffies and forget to pay for them, so we, like, worked out a deal. I'd go out with somebody if they traded tickets for it. Oh my god! <laughs> That's the solution your manager came up with? Like, well, he's pretty hot. You know, the girls come and they like him, so they can win. <laughs> they can win a date with him. <laughs> and then we can pay off his Swifty Taffy debt. That's amazing. Oh, it's the best thing I've heard. <laughs> Your eyes just keep getting bigger. Is that legal? I don't know. Okay. How many tickets does it cost? 100. Well, that's kind of pricey. Has anyone actually done it before? Yeah. Who? Some people from around here. Wow, now I know. Okay. Sheesh, how do people even find out about this? I tell them when they ask me out. <laughs> Amazing. So people ask you out? Yeah. I guess that's not too surprising. Wait, except for one time I didn't tell them, but they knew anyways. What happened then? Uh, you know, the manager who set it up has a kid. We went to school together and he found out about it from that manager guy. And don't tell me he used the deal. Yeah, he did. Does your manager know? No. Uh huh. It'd probably be better if it stayed that way. I think your manager got played by his own son. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> So, I guess that means if I wanted to go out with you, I'd have to trade 100 tickets, huh? Uh, yeah. What a freaking pain. Sorry. It's not your fault. Well, it's not completely your fault. Gotcha. Well, that'll be all today, Cam. I'll see you later. Yeah. Bye you. I gotta win 100 tickets. Hmm. What's the maximum amount of tickets I can win? Well, I'll worry about that next week. I don't know. I'm trying to remember how to play Tic Tac Smack. It's been a while. I can also just get tickets. Out of curiosity, you get two tickets for putting three dollars in? Or is it, like, random? I should have saved before I did that. Actually. A little late, but... Okay, it is random. I want my three dollars back, though. If you don't mind. Oh, I got my fifty dollars back. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, let's try this. I think you're trying to get, like, all the... the same. Okay, I'm focusing. This music's great. Stop with the freaky nose! Kind of undertale-y. It's like whack-a-mole, but X's and O's. This is very undertale -y. Four tickets. Oh my goodness. This is gonna take a while. Um. Four tickets. Uh. Yeah. Well, time for a montage, I guess, guys. <laughs> Oops.
Welcome back. We're gonna do the last one. <laughs> I finally figured out some stuff about this game towards the end. I'm like, oh, I should be clicking multiple things. Per blink blink. Because that's way, way better. You get way more points. But it looks like the maximum you can get is uh, five tickets anyway. So, I mean, no big deal. It's fine. We we got there anyway. Ooh, nice. Boop, 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 boop. This was oddly therapeutic, actually. <laughs> Just smacking these things. Whack, 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 whack. Yay! Is that it? Woohoo! All right, but Cam, we will come and trade for your love <laughs> in a little while. Uh, it is Sunday. I am just gonna go and visit Adrian. 
I think we might have got like our last combo with Adrian as well. Which is quite, quite possible. But that's fine. Alright, should we? I think we should. I'll just double check with you, Adrian, okay? You're cool. I really hope I don't have to win 100 tickets every time to take you out. As much as that was therapeutic, I don't think I could do it, like, four times in a row. So we'll see. Hello, Cam. Hey! I've got good news for you. You? Yeah? Yes, I've got 100 tickets. Cool. What of what? What do you think? Uh... I don't know. I want a date with you. Oh... Okay. Sweet. So, how does it work? You give me the tickets and I go out with you. I get that, but do I get to pick where we go? When does it happen? Do I get a kiss during our date, etc.? Uh, yeah, whenever you want. No. What does etc. mean? <laughs> and no kisses for you. Forget the etc. And more importantly, if I pay extra, can we change that no to a yes? No. Oh well. I want to go to the zoo, and I want to go after you get off work today. Okay. Mind if I go home real quick? Fine. I'll meet you here 30 minutes after the end of your shift, and we'll go to the bus stop together. And you better not be late. I paid good tickets for this. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Well, don't you look nice. Indeed. Let's just get a full view of this. Cam's casual wear. Uh, do I? Yes, you do. Gotcha. Thanks. Nice black t sh <laughs> Black tree. Nice black tree shirt. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's cool. Uh-huh. And is there a reason the hood of your jacket had to be a slightly different color than the torso section? Oh, yeah, so it's slightly. There are different colors? Mm-hmm, they are. Whoa, I didn't notice. And how long have you had that jacket? Like three years. <laughs> of course. One more thing. If you hadn't noticed, your belt is too long. Yeah, I know. And you thought that was a good decision? Yeah, it's cool, you know. <laughs> okay, that's enough about your outfit. Okay. Yay, we're here. Yeah, what do I want to see? The bears. Cool. Do you like bears, Cam? Yeah. Wow. You like bears, I like bears. It's like we're perfect for each other. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that sure was a lot of fun, huh? Yeah. I bet it's the most fun you've ever had on a date. Yeah. Exactly. It'd be really sad if we couldn't do it again. Yeah. But we could do it again. Yeah? Yeah, all you'd have to do is not make me pay a hundred freaking tickets. Uh, but what about the deal? You're right, but I know how to get around that. Yeah? Uh-huh. If I was officially your girlfriend, your manager couldn't force you to charge me tickets for us to go out on a date. You want to be my girlfriend? That's right. Cool. So you'll be my boyfriend? Yeah, I like you. Aww. Well, great. That was easy. Uh, now what? Now I have to give you the perfect nickname. Oh my gosh, I forgot. <laughs> and? Okay. I will call you... Camikins. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I like it. Thank you. I'm fantastic at giving people nicknames. Yeah, it really fits, you know? Yep. And you know what I know? Uh, no? I know that this was a good idea. Yeah. Duh, adorable. I don't know what that little ding-a-ling was, but that was so cute. So now... Okay, so we can go out. We're gonna save that. 
gonna give it a while. Like, three... Three months? Three to four, let's say four months. Oh, hello, Adrian. Oh, are we doing the type game now? Oh my goodness. I was starting to think that I had, like, messed up my settings somewhere. I feel like we got to the type game really fast with Adrian's route, but not so with Cam. Okay, I wanted to save just in case. I would say that Cam is extroverted, though. Extroverted. That way he'd have the same disposition as me. Why does that matter? Because I'm great, so being like me is always a good thing. <laughs> Alright, and that's it for the personality portion of our questions. Wow, you weren't kidding. How short is this quiz? There are nine questions. Really? Not even ten? I could make up one more if you wanted me to. That's alright. Just bring on question two already. Okay. Question two. In comparison to you, what's your preference for height? Taller, shorter, about the same. Hmm, I think Cam is taller than me. Well, hello, tall people. Taller, please. What a predictable answer. <laughs> Whatever. I like what I like. <sighs> Great. Question three. What's your preferred body type out of the people here? Kind of scrawny, sort of fit, or more muscular? Never mind the people here. Ah. Uh, I always wonder about this one. I don't know what to think about the thin and kind of fit ones. It's a skater dude. I think he's thin? If I don't get him, I can always come back. See, look at this guy, Mr. Thin Bean over there. Mean and lean. Ah, uh, why? Because it looks good. No need to act so confused about it. Mm hmm. Question four How do you feel about the length of their hair? Long, really short, at least a little something that hangs down. Um, it's not short. It's about... it's longer than Shiloh's and Jeremy's. So I'd say long, probably? Long. Then I can have something to run my fingers through. I need to cut my hair. <laughs> Aw, don't be like that. Your hair is beautiful. Alright, question five. Do you have any preference for skin tone? Lighter colored, medium, especially dark. Um, you don't have to answer if you don't want to, Jerkit. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, light, please. I don't mind answering. I've got a thing for guys on the lighter side. Okay. Question six. Uh, I don't know if this question will really work. What's the problem? It's about the outfits people are wearing, but... You know, uniforms. Can't you tweak it? Sure. Everybody will just have to think about the types of clothes we wear outside of school, though. I'm sure we'll manage. Got it. Question six. When it comes to clothes, what types of color schemes do you prefer? Light and saturated colors, dark and muted colors, a mix of both. Um, has he... he's kind of a mix. He's got like the the black tree, but some color. Yeah. There are times and places for both. Right. You shouldn't have to limit yourself to just one type. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he says playing the type game. Question seven. Do you care about the way their eyebrows look? This is getting ridiculous. Sorry, there are only so many questions you can ask about this kind of thing. Who cares? It's almost over. Let him ask the dumb questions. Ahem. As I was saying, is there something you prefer when it comes to eyebrows? Really thin, average, extra thick. I believe cams are thin. 
extra thin. Do I even want to know why? It's nothing weird, I just like how it looks. <laughs> Alright, question 8. Glasses, yay or nay? That would be a nay. Nay, give me a clear view of those peepers. Don't call them that. I'll do what I want. Just like Dr. Danny. <laughs> question nine, the last question. Finally. You do remember that after her, we're all going to have to take a turn, right? I know, but this part is almost over and that's something. Hardly, but whatever makes you happy, sweet pea. Shh! Give me the last question, Shiloh. We're so close to the results. Uh, maybe we should skip it. Uh, what's the problem? The last question is unfair. It's about piercings, and SSB doesn't allow piercings for guys. There's only ever been one exception, so we couldn't know if the results were really right. Fine, let's ask. Is there anyone here who would have a piercing if you were allowed to have one? Me. I'd pierce my ears, or at least one. Anyone else? Uh, I would. Jeremy, you'd have a piercing. Yes. Wow. What would you pierce? My belly button. Oh my god. I could have gone my whole life without knowing that. <laughs> And there you go. We'll just use our imaginations to pretend we live in a world where Everett has his ears pierced and Jeremy also has something pierced. That'll work. I'm pretty sure Cam doesn't- he doesn't have any visible piercings. He has some on his belly button? Who can say? But I haven't heard about it. So we'll see. I don't know. We'll find out. Mm, no thanks. If you didn't want the guy to have a piercing anyways, then why didn't you say so? We could have skipped trying to figure out who hypothetically would have had one. Sorry, I was curious. So, what do you guys think? Honestly, it doesn't sound that much like any of us. Okay, that's promising. Come on, there has to be someone stares at me. You know who I thought of? That stupid guy from the arcade. Nice! Cam? That's the one, probably. Really? Cam's my best match, huh? That's gotta suck. Why? I've never met him. He's stupid. Like, really stupid. Oh. <laughs> Fine, insult my perfect match all you want. I'll just leave and go find Cam right now. He'll console me. Huh. I doubt he knows what that word means. I don't care. I'll explain it to him. No, that's enough. You shouldn't talk badly about someone, especially behind their back. Let's refocus. Cam isn't here, so he can't be part of the game. We have to pick someone else. You really can't think of someone else? I guess, but Cam really was the best choice. Huh. I wish Cam were here. Don't be so pouty. We get enough of that from Jeremy. If only he was here, then we could get a move on with this game already. Sigh. Do any of you know Cam well? Maybe you could just answer for him. That idea is so stupid, Cam himself could have come up with it. Hey, I think it could be fun. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that's a good idea. For God's sake. Nate, you can ask the question since you don't know him at all. Do you remember what they were? I do and fine, but I don't like this. Noted. Go on now. Alright, question one, disposition. Definitely outgoing. Yeah, people who don't talk much probably confuse him. Though so do most things. Question two, height. Cam's always shouting, <laughs> shouting. Cam's always slouching and bending his knees, so I say he likes things being lower down. Sounds good to me. Question three: Body type. Eh, let's 
play it safe and just go with kind of thin. Sure. I like that me and Everett are, are working together on this. Hair length. Long. Mm-hmm. If he likes it for himself, he probably likes it on other people, too. He loves your haircut, though, Jerkette. You forgot about that. Skin tone. Pass. Outfit colors. Bright and colorful. Yeah, he's gonna be easily amused by pretty colors. Eyebrows. Eh, pass. Glasses. I say nay. No way is he a fan of people who look smart. Okay, why not? Piercings. Yep, totally. I bet he loves piercings. Mm-hmm. Fine. Done. Well, let's put together the result, then. What do you think? <laughs> Everett. Yep, Everett. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Best reply. Don't worry, we don't even know if any of that is right. There's no need to take it seriously. Ah, uh, what a waste of time. Aw, Jeremy, were you hoping it would be you? True. Hey, it was fun, and now we know who gets to go next. Why should Everett go next? The entire thing was made up. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to go next that much? No, I'd rather not go at all. Then why do you care? Because all you did was take all that time to pick someone at random. Forgive us for trying to have a little fun. Alright, alright, this is starting to become hostile. Let's tone it down a little. Do you think you can do that? No reply. Ha. Huh. Jeremy's really bummed out. Um, Shiloh, would you mind if we stop the game here? What? Why? Because I don't think we'll be able to get them back in the spirit. We can still do something else. What? Huh. Interesting. Oh my goodness, and now we gotta have the announcement meeting as well. Gosh darn, I was just over the, uh, the reaction from them being like, huh. Well... This is a good segue, I suppose, because we just talked about how we introduced the idea of Cam to our group mates, so now they get to, to find out about us. What's up, boys? Hi, Jerkit. I'm glad you're here. I'm sure we all are. With her here, we can finally get started. We shouldn't have to be here at all. Yeah, yeah, you go guys don't like getting together. What else is new? Having random meetups completely out of the blue is pretty new, wouldn't you say? Yes, this was unexpected, and I'm sorry for making you get together today with no advance warning. As you've probably guessed, this isn't related to the official group program. This is just a casual get-together. So why did you want to have a casual meeting? Good question. You see, I have some very good news I'd like to discuss with you. I can't believe this. I know you're not happy, but this really is for a special occasion. There has been a development for one of the people in this room. No one cares. Well, it would be nice if you did. We're here today to congratulate that person for the special change in their life. Can you please stop being vague, Sunshine? And let us know exactly what this news is. I'm not sure I'm the best person for the job. What? I'll be handling that. Ahem. <clears throat> this is your news, then? Should have figured. Yep, it is all about me. And by the way, I'm the one who put Lynn up to having this meeting. <laughs> oh no, Nate's calling us a shrew again. You shrew. <laughs> Say what you want. I'm still happy to be with you today to discuss the wonderful thing that happened to me. Then get to the point and tell us, dear. Alright, already. The news is that I am officially off the market. That's right! I've got a boyfriend now! Yay for me! Ah, uh, That's it. Yep. 
God, that's idiotic. And who around here would even date anyone from this group? Lots of people. I'm in this group after all. But actually, he doesn't go to the school. His name is Cam Sung. Cam? Ugh, don't tell me you mean that dumb fuck from the arcade with the YOLO shirt. That's the one! <laughs> Eyes go wide. Well, shit. Don't you have any standards at all? Obviously, otherwise I'd be dating you. Oh! Pew 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 pew! Shots fired! Oh wow, Shyla's so angry! <laughs> yes. Give in to your anger, Shiloh. Cam is literally the stupidest person I've met, and I've met Everett. Bitch. Why would you date him? He's a cutie pie. Ugh. Welp, looks like Shiloh's spent. Do the rest of you have anything to say? I've never met him and I don't want to. I've seen him around. He's certainly a unique one. <laughs> Good luck with that relationship, Sugar Plum. I know that you're a special secret best friends with him. Uh, okay. Hmm. I guess that's the best I'm gonna get. Can we leave? Oh, well... Yeah, fine, we can end this. Alright, thank you very much for coming and have a good day. <laughs> I'm gonna have the best day because... <laughs> ah, that Shiloh reaction was everything I ever wanted. That was just fantastic in every way, shape, and form. <laughs>